has been a good player for a long time. Most people probably didn't notice it because he played for the Marlins. Sorry, D-Train. But, you know, you, you look at it, how, how do you go from being a really, really good player yeah. to an absolute star and probably an MVP winner? Yeah, well, he, it's called maturity. He's now 26 KB. And the thing about him is he is uh, he, a great hitter, but with power, right? He's not just a power hitter. And he's aggressive, but he's not reckless. And he's one of the rare breeds in today's game, a left-handed hitter who can actually dominate left-handed pitching. He had 370 after the All-Star break against left-handed pitching. But, but to me, what's great is he's six foot three, 195 pounds, and, and he has great leverage in, in the strike zone. He can hit the ball the other way. He, he's a hybrid between an Ichiro and a Daryl Strawberry who can hit the ball in the seats, both right center and left center, but can also beat you the other way with a base hit. He is a handful, and he will be the MVP. Talk about his bat being in the zone for a long time. Yeah. What does that mean? So when you have that type of leverage, again, Daryl Strawberry is a perfect example. He was six foot six. Yelich is six foot three. But what it means is when you bring the bat all the way here, it means that if there's off speed, those are the ones that you can go big fly to right center. He led the league in home runs to center field. Again, it is a lethal weapon to take a fastball away, as Big Pop, you've done it for so many years, over the monster and be able to take your best pitch and make it be a home run. That's Bobby, what he can do. Bobby, you noticed something about his, his legs, too, and what he does against certain pitches, right? We take, let's look at this videotape first, because this is a good pickup by you. What are you seeing with his, his lower half and his feet? I love the fact, Kevin, that he never left his powerhouse. Your back lay, the way you lined up, everything is where the power comes from. And if you, if you look at the samurai, he never left the house. He never traveled. He stayed there, so... So yeah, show us the, here. The minute, the minute he loaded, right? His powerhouse, which is his back leg, never go anywhere. Stay there. He let the ball travel dip, and then, like Alex say, he had the leverage to stay in the strike zone for so long. So now, anything that is middle away, he's gonna hit it for power that way. That's why he lead the lead and home run mm. through center field. That back leg, Frank. What else about Yelich? I want to say one thing. Both of you hit it. He uses the whole field, mm. but he's not afraid to let the ball get deep in the zone. Mm -hmm. And that's why he's so great. He can go line to line. What I like about him, though, is he can do it all. He can run, he can run very well. He can he hit with power. He's clutch. He's tough-minded. But the biggest key for me this year for him, he left Miami. <laughs> a hitter's nightmare <laughs> to a hitting, uh, hitting park in my, and, and, and uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee, which is a dream. I mean, it's a great place to hit. Now you're seeing this whole game develop. Multi-power. This guy's an MVP this year. No, I mean he sold me the last weekend of the year in the clutch when the Milwaukee Brewers needed it.